Duran, when you look at this, what, what's your first inclination of what went wrong for you guys? Uh, tell you the truth, I can't even tell you. We had one of our better weeks of practices. Our focus was there. It was just a better football team yesterday. Why were we able to have success throwing the ball from the second quarter on? Uh, had a couple bus coverages. Uh, and then one time we just got beat. Uh, 84 when he scored and just got beat. At the time was was a bus coverage. The guy was wide open in the end zone. So it had nothing really to do. Them. The first, the, the, the first bus of coverage. Safety supposed to come over or the corner supposed to fall? It, 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 it was a man to man coverage. Man to man coverage. UConn and Louisville are overtime right now. If UConn wins, you at least get a share of the Big East title. Do you care about any of that right now? Or? Oh, all we can do right now is just get ready to go back to, to work because the only way to get this feeling out your mouth is to win. So either win, lose, it doesn't matter. Next week, we're going to get a win on Thursday. You know, a lot of people are looking so you guys came out flat or whatever. I don't believe that because the first quarter you guys yeah. played well defensively. What happened? Any idea what happened between the first quarter and the second quarter? What changed? I mean, dude. It was just, they, they got some big plays on us. Uh, I think we got away a little bit from what we were doing. They hit us with a couple of big plays and got put in position to score. When we're in the red zone, we usually stop people from scoring, but then we gave up touchdowns. You know, we don't, and that costs us. It seems like Pitt did a good job of attacking your blitzes where they came from, a lot of dump offs to the back screens, and also using the tight end. Why do you think that was so successful? Uh, we, we use our aggressiveness, aggressiveness against us. But at, at the end of the day, we still have guys that are responsible for those tight ends, those dump balls, those those running backs. But um, we didn't, uh, didn't do our job. Last thing, Duran, how old? Obviously, you play Louisville with a chance to go to a BCS game on Thursday night. Does that take any of this thing out of this, or a loss <coughs> just as terrible? I think the one thing that takes why we're gonna have to get over this win so fast <coughs> because we play Thursday. Uh, usually we get like a couple of days and then you get into the game plan. We actually start game plan tomorrow and start practicing for Louisville. So if we sit here and soak on this win, it would do nothing positive for us. So I know that we have to, as soon as we get off this plan, we have to be focused straight on Louisville. And that's the plan. All right, thanks for the time. Can you just start off with kind of like your emotions of the day and what transpired? Um, I don't know, man. We was ready to go. Everybody was excited, hyped up. Um, and just came out and they beat us. What did they do offensively, kind of from the second quarter on, that gave you guys trouble? I don't think they gave us trouble. Um, they did some things well. They're a good team. They ran the ball. All they were able to throw the ball pretty good, but. It wasn't nothing that they did that, you know, was something we didn't see or, you know, made us get out of whack and things like that. It was just they executed and we did. We keep asking, were distractions any issue for this team this week? No, sir. We came out, we was ready. Um, we, we don't we don't just we don't get caught up in, in whatever's going on. You know, we, we stay in the moment and, and and that's what we try to do. We try to chop the moment. Uh, you know, our guys were excited. Like I said, guys were prepared. We came out hard. We came out strong. Uh, at the end of the day, they just out, uh, out executed us. Um, and you know, my hats off to those guys over there. They uh, they got a great program. So, uh, all right, they got they got all of my respect. Kasim, what happened to you in the second quarter? What can you tell us about? I that? just hit them hard. Got my, I got dizzy. So uh, that that. That happened with the game, you know. I, I play hard. Um, it's a high speed, um, high speed game, high speed collision. I just got a little dizzy. Uh, doctors thought that I should, you know, just stay out until the halftime. And you see, I came back out in the second half and played. So it wasn't nothing, you know, too serious. Uh, it might have uh, looked a lot worse than what it was, but um, for the most part, I was, I'm fine. I just had a little, a little dizzy, a little dizziness, and uh, the doctors thought that it was. Um, fine, and, and I'm, I'm glad and blessed just to have you know great co uh, medical staff, you know, to, to to tell me not to go back in the game. So um, I'm good. You, you feel pretty good now. 
Hmm? You, do you feel fine now too and everything? I'm great. I feel great besides the loss, you know. Physically, uh, you know, I feel great. Uh, no headache, no nothing. We'll help you tomorrow after this kind of wears off and you start looking ahead to know that it's still all of your goals are attainable, the Big East title, the BCS bid. Yeah, right definitely. Tomorrow. Definitely. Uh, I mean, we're in Louisville since, you know, since the, the, the clocks hit four zeros, we was in the Louisville. We um, win, lose, or draw, we was going, either way, it was going to be the same. Um, it's just, you know, um, we having to lose today. So, you know, just being a competitor, the, the loss is going to wear on you a little bit. But uh, when I wake up tomorrow, uh, when I get off the plane today, I'm going to be, you know, focused and ready to go, watch some film tonight and um, get ready for Louisville. How much did this defense's aggressiveness hurt it today? I don't think it hurt us at all. Uh, like I said, those guys just executed better than we did. Um, it wasn't an aggressiveness, so it wasn't you know a bad play call. It wasn't anything you know that we we didn't we don't do anything out of the ordinary that, that hurt us today. We just you know got out executed. Kasim, what was the trouble then with picking up? I know the running back got loose on a few passes and the tight end with coverage and stuff. Was it just their execution? Or? Yeah, I guess yeah, just the execution. Um, and we know they did a real good screen team and things like that. They just you know have like I said they haven't out executed us. Uh, my hats off to those guys. How dangerous of a team is Pitt, considering it was senior day for them and they were fighting for their whole lives? Uh, I mean, we all know that they're dangerous. You, you see, you know, they, they beat a, a, a Virginia Tech team, what they did in Notre Dame. Um, they didn't finish it out, but they did play a great game, and they've been playing great games all season. Uh, they, they're a dangerous team, and, and the, the type of team they have doesn't reflect by the record that they have. So, um, like I said, uh, those guys are good. They're, they're, that's a good program. And, you know, we'll see. We'll see how the rest of the year goes. Cash, what do you tell the young guys, all these other guys now after this loss? Uh, man, we just got We just got to move on from this. Um, it's going to be tough. We lost the game. You know, nobody likes to lose, but at the same time, we still can accomplish our goals that we set out from day one. Um, we're not naive to that. So, you know, we take these bumps and, and these bangs and bruises, and, uh, and we correct the film, um, you know, and, and we get ready for this Thursday night.